welcome to one of my videos. Today I'll be showing you about coefficients, variables, algebra, and fractions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like the video if you didn't enjoy. Now I'll show you the video. Select all expressions containing a coefficient of 4. If you did not know what a coefficient is, a coefficient is a number that has a variable attached to the number. You can tell if it's a coefficient or not a coefficient. And here, a coefficient, this is a coefficient because a coefficient requires a variable. And right here is a variable. Common variables that you'll see in problems is x and y. And 4 has a coefficient because it has an x as a variable. So this will lead us to a coefficient. And this one is not a coefficient. Because you see right here that x is in the problem, but it needs to be attached to 4. Do that it's not attached to 4, for that it is not a coefficient. So, it wants to, and, and so this problem wants us to find an expression and a coefficient of 4. This one does have a coefficient, but this problem is trying to confuse you with this answer. This one has a coefficient, but it doesn't have a expression. So, as you see right here, select all expression containing containing a coefficient of 4. So, it wants you to select expressions that have a coefficient of 4. This was not even an expression at all. So, that leads us to A being wrong. B. 2x plus 4. It does have a coefficient, but not a 4. And it is an expression, but it also wants a coefficient, mainly a 4. Does it have it? No. So, let's eliminate B. C. 4x plus 2y. Is it an expression? Yes. Does it have a coefficient of 4? Yes. X is the coefficient. I mean, x is the variable of 4, leading, making 4 a coefficient. So, let's see D. D, 4 plus X plus Y. As if, you, if you heard earlier, I said that this was not a coefficient because it does not have a variable attached to 4, not making it a coefficient. And this is the only expression that that is an expression and also having 4 a variable, making it a coefficient. So, this C is the correct answer. Number two, algebraic expression. Below represents the word phrase, the quotient of the sum of x and 7 and the sum of k and 5. What I want you to do is want you to find a, f if you see right here, it's already fraction. So it's already going to want you to do it, answer the question in fraction form. And you want you to add x and 7 plus k and 5, not, not add x plus 7 plus k plus 5. You see right here, A, X plus 7 plus K plus 5. This one is completely wrong. Do that. It's adding X and 7 plus K and 5. And it does not want you to do that. So, A is wrong. C, I mean B, X over 7 plus K over 5. Does it have an infraction form? Yes. Does it have, does it have 7 plus, does it have an X adding to 7 and K adding to 5? No. It's X and 7 is x over 7 added to k over 5? Yes, that could be a possible of a correct answer. We cannot say it's a correct answer. Be do that we have c and d still to check. c, x plus 7 plus k over 5. Is, is part of it in fraction form? Yes, it's x over 7. Is x and 7 in fraction form? No, leading that to a wrong answer. d, X over 7 plus K plus 5 is like this one. But just instead of having K over 5 in a fraction form, it has X over 7. Leading it to also being wrong. So, if you see right here, we have D. I mean B, the only answer remaining being the correct answer. 3. How is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 expressed in exponential form? So, right here, A. 6 it so it's, this is, it, what number is this? This is a 5, not a 6. And it doesn't show it 5 times. It shows it 6 times and the number being 5. So this is obviously straight up incorrect. B, 5. It shows number 5, yes. 
How many times? One, two, three, four, five, six, six times. This could be a possible answer. We don't never know. It could be, be another type of answer. You never know. C, five plus five. This is straight up already correct. Dude, that's adding, not multiplying. And then the problem, it wants you to the multiplying version, not the adding version. And it does have a six times. That is correct. But you are adding, not multiplying. So this is not correct. D. 5 times 5 is 25. That is part correct because of the 6. But it wants you to do 4 times, not, not 2 times. So leading D incorrect. So B is correct. On this side, we have two more problems. 4. A library had used a book sale for 4 days. The library paid $25 for an advertisement each day for the sale and books sold each day. For two dollars, the expression below represents the amount of money the library used and raised at the book sale. Two B minus twenty-five colon four. How much money was raised when four hundred books were were sold per day? So in order to for to find this, we have to multiply four times whatever number we get. So we're gonna start with four hundred. The first day. We got 400. The second day, we got 800. The third day, we got... So, in order to get to the third day, you're going to have to start multiplying. So, you're going to have to multiply 800 times 400. Okay. So, 0 times 0 equals 0. 0 times 0 equals 0. 8 times, four, I mean, 4 times 8 equals 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. Wait. Yes. Okay, so you're going to do 400 times 2. Because 400 bucks was sold per day. But $2 cost each book. Adding a total of eight hundred dollars, money was raised per day. So you can write right here: four hundred times two equals eight hundred. I know that's right here. Zero, zero, four times two equals eight. So you can write eight hundred. And then you're gonna do eight hundred times four, leading into how many days? Eight hundred times wait a minute. Eight hundred I'm sorry for the waiting. We had some we had some technical difficulties. So we finally got out and did the problem through and now I'm here to show you how to do. Four hundred times two equals eight hundred. 800 times 4 because there were 4 days and eight, eight, each day you earned $800. So, so you're going to do right here, 0. 0. And 4 times 8 equals 32. So you're going to get 3,200. And so, you see that so far it's not an answer. You're like, why is that not an answer? Well, we're not done yet. So if you see right here, Twenty-five day, twenty twenty-five dollars were paid for each advertisement, and the, how many days did the did the book sell last? Four days. So it's like a quarter. Four quarters equals one one dollar. One hundred pennies equals one dollar. So it's like that. So twenty-five dollars for four days equals one hundred dollars. So you're gonna you're gonna do three thousand two hundred minus one hundred, and which is gonna lead you to zero, zero. One slash you're gonna bring down your three, and you're gonna get three. You say your final your final product answer is gonna be three thousand one hundred. And that appears as number B. So your answer is correct. Leading